Focus is brought to you by Summit Partners, leaders in growth equity investing, weightsandbars.com. Build your home gym and shop locally from the Bay Area's best fitness equipment experts. Ike's Love and Sandwiches, championship level sandwiches every single time. South Bay Construction, a reputation built on trust. And by Fuel Good, fueling your success. Conveniently located in Santa Clara off Homestead Road. For more info, go to fuelgoodmealprep.com. Moving on to the next game, one and two Reardon Crusaders hosted Sacred Heart Cathedral for the Stanford Cup. The first WCAL game for both. First home game for Reardon in the 2024 football season. Who said Reardon can't play defense? They do. Look at that. Crusaders set the tone early. Sacred Heart Cathedral came to play. Let's see that fake punt. That's Jared Kamara with the ball down the sideline. Play. Ah, fighting Irish in business. Two plays later, it's all about execution. Week one GSF Weekly Offensive Player of the Week, Michael Sargent with a dime to Zion Sacrese. First and goal inside the five for SH, and they scored a few tries later. Sargent plowed his way in. PAT was no good, six to nothing. Sacred Heart Cathedral with the early lead. Reardon answered back in four plays. Vanderbilt commit Michael Mitchell Jr. to Washington commit Chris Lawson. They connected back to back for first downs and the rest was up to the running back. Adanye Brown got some reps early. He shared the backfield with their main guy, Jeremiah Jones, but it was Brown who ended up scoring. Solid job by the line, PAT good, seven to six, rhythm with the lead. Crusaders forced another turnover and scored. Jones had 324 all-purpose yards in their loss against Pittsburgh in week three. Also scored three touchdowns and that's his sixth of the season. 14 to six, Reardon with the lead. Crusaders defense got the ball back again. 6'3", 235 pound defensive tackle, Lopetti Malupo. He's only a sophomore, people. And he just forced a fumble. Liam Brummer recovered it for Reardon. And they scored on the very next play. Michael Mitchell to Chris Lawson. Touchdown. That's a 21 to six Reardon lead with a little over a minute left in the quarter. Reardon's got some talented big boys. Another big play by the sophomore right here, Malupo. Reardon. Up by two scores after one quarter. Second quarter. Crusaders on the move. Mitchell to Wesley Wynn Jr. That's a 39 yard gain. And they gave Brown. And they gave Brown the ball for another first down. And yes. They scored again. Michael Mitchell Jr. got it in, but there was a penalty, so that didn't count. A nice looking run though. Reardon's definitely got the home field advantage with that student section. This one counted though. Mitchell to Judge Nash. One-handed grab by the three-star junior wide receiver. Student section goes wild. 28 to six, Crusaders. Next defensive series for Reardon, another takeaway. And they ran a screen with Jones. That's a big gain right to the GSF cam. They know where to run and they finish the drive with a short pass to another three-star national recruit, Sunai Thomas, he's our homie. Also a junior, 36. No, 35 to six, reared in. 
with the lead. Next possession for the Fighting Irish. Another fake punt. Hey, it worked the first time, so you might as well do it again. Kamara took the ball all the way just outside the 30 of the Crusaders, and they got it in Sargent with his sophomore receiver, Chase Jenkins, out there making the catch. Two-point try was good, 35-14. SH, they trail. Reardon turns to their run game to eat up some clock, but it, it didn't take long for them to score, really. Brown with a first down run, capped off by Jones' seventh touchdown of the season. Yes, we're counting. 42-14, Reardon not looking back at all. And they put on another scoring drive. We're still in the first half, by the way. Mitchell to win. Nice looking play. Ooh, love the low angle. Almost scored, but the ref made the right call. He did step out of bounds. And of course, they scored. Brown with a short TD. That made it 49 to 14 at that point. Ridden wins their first WCAL home opener, 63 to 34. They'll travel to SI for the Who Run the City Bowl next Friday. And yes, I guess Sports Focus will be there.